Now I said that 30 inches is going to be the size of the swag. So, uh, so therefore, um, the side of the swag of the tail is going to come down 30 inches. All right, so that's 30 inches there. And then I've got to allow for, I can either use the same fabric and bend it over. So I will allow for four inches, just in case I might change my mind. So I make it at 34 inches. 34 inches. Inches. and then from 34 inches that's the return then I'm going to do the whole length of this tail so I'm going to get another ruler and join it so I've got my right angle here and then I'm going to here is where the point is going to be but I'm not going to cut this section what I'm going to do now is go, I'm going to release the return Is the return. Let me write on it. The return is here. Return. And now from point to point. Mind you, I am going to allow for seam allowance. I'm going to turn that up. And that's going to be the angle of my tail. You'll see it clearer when I cut it. Right, so I've done that. Now the the width of this is say roughly 140 inches. So what I'm gonna do is gonna work out roughly how many pleats I want. So I think I want roughly around five. We could have any amount. So what I'm gonna do is, um, where's my tape measure or whatever there? Right, there we go. So, I'm not going to waste the material. This fabric is a hundred and no, I better do it a hundred and forty because their fabric is a hundred and forty. So let's leave it at a hundred and forty. So I'm going to nip it. So my return at the moment is going to be a little bit bigger because I have no idea what size the board is going to be. So that's my nip for my return. That's I'm doing fair. I'll show you in a minute. So that's it. So I've got to divide it, 140 divided by, I said five pleats, where is the paper? I know you lot have already done it, but still, oh, sorry, 140 centimetres. I keep forgetting to tell you whether it's centimetres or inches. So that is 140 centimetres, which is... Uh, 56 inches i like to work in inches because i can see inches so let me say 50 inches divided by five which is 10 inch 10 12 inches each i'll say roughly 12 12 inches so let me mark it out 12 inches and Let's see what happens. And in 
that 12 inches, you've got um, two inches for the fold and eight inches for the tail, the fold underneath. Or we'll see how we're going to do it. Whatever looks nice because I haven't worked out the finish width of it. So I'm going to see what that looks like. So let me do 12 inches right now. So do 12 inches. Five. I've got my five pleats. That's it. And then I can tweak it here, here and there. So with that, let me nip it and then I'm going to quickly pleat it. So when I've done that, the first nip, then I'm going to do a second nip to say when I pleat it, um, you, there's two ways you can pleat it. You can pleat it and leave underneath the fabric, you see either two or three or four inches and then carry on with your 10 inches and so on like that. And then the return, the return is all the way along. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So my first pleat is, uh, it looks like roughly around four inches and three and a half inches and four inches a little gap. Or let's leave them close together and let me trim them. So basically, I've left on the top a pleat, which is around two and a half inches, which I did say roughly three, two and a half inches on the top. So at this moment I've got both both tails on top of each other. Do you know what? I just broke my stand. I dropped it and broke it. So can you see the pleats? So here I've got two and a half gap in, in between and underneath I've got the pleats underneath. I'll show you it later. That's what you can see so far. Look at all my stands. There's one there. There's one there. And since moving to videoing it, what's the where are the rest of them? Oh, I've got plenty. Yeah, they're all over the place. There's one over there. All my stands. I'm just showing you that I really have stands. I've got more. Oh yeah, there's two up there. And I had to go and break the one for fun. So there's two here. There's two here. But none 
to hold it there and there's the one that I've broken so I'm sorry about that but life goes on It's ironed and fixed and everything. It's brilliant. That's how tall the tail is. Right. Okay. So I'm going to tweak it and bring this swag here up a bit more. Um, I think it's the whole thing is scratchy but anyway that's what it is yeah a quick run up so i'll take this to the customer and show them roughly what they're getting thanks for watching